Hi friends, good morning to all of you. Today we are going to see, in this video we are going to see the one poem that is No Men Are Foreign. The poem is composed by the James Kirkup, which is very important poem in modern time. He has seen, means he is a poet uh, during the First World War and the Second World War and on the basis of the First World War, he has seen some very uh, calamities and very human destruction uh, what we have known about and he is witness about it. So whatever that happened in the First World War, he has just explained into the uh, no man in uh, foreign because there is a one uh, soldier, armies and the uh, reason, lands, everything was destructed and everything was had the disturbance to each other and it is something different to each other that all the things are discussed by the James Kirkup and he wanted to say that you, we all are the human beings. We are the human beings and we have to be, behave like human beings and we are better than the animals. The same it is discussed into this one poem. Let's start why, why he is telling that no mains are foreign. Whatever we are saying that you are the Russian, American, English, uh, Indian, Pakistani, that whatever we are telling to the people. But James Kirkup has a different idea about the poem and what the exact idea is there. Let we start in this poem. If you are new on this channel, to please subscribe the channel and give the bell icon to get uh, notifications, get a new, uh, new videos notification in your YouTube channel. Let's see the story, what he is telling to the one. Introduction is what, already I told you that he was uh, belonged to the first world war, war poet. And have you ever been thought about some people of the strange or other countries as a foreign? We are calling that he is a foreign and he is a foreigner. I Means he is belonged to the other country when we are calling them. But we have many ways of thinking that the people as a different from us and them and they. Not only the land we are discussing, he is only because the British, he is belong to the Britain, but we have the lot of ideas that we are calling the foreign, not we are calling that person as according to their nationality. When we are telling about the nationality, then we can discuss, okay, it is, he is a Pakistani, he is a Chinese, he is a American, he is a English, that is there, but inside also there are lot of things are hidden into the world as a foreign. Okay, foreign, he's the enemy, he's a competitor, he's uh, uh, our friend. A lot of things we have a concept into the as when we call as a foreign. So, belong to the different countries, speak different languages and the poems, our poet reminds us the many ways in which they are the same. We are calling that the Pakistani person means he's something like this. When we are calling Chinese person, this he's like this. This all concepts, but below that, whatever the poet is telling into this poetry, in this poem, that many ways, many ideas have the same inside. They are also the human beings, we are also the human beings. And what he is telling, that let's start seeing the poem. I will not tell you more than, but the poem is discussed like this. The first stanza is about, the poet says that, remember no men are strange, no country is foreign. No country is foreign, means the God has created the only one land and one uh, earth. So there is no foreign countries, everything is ours, everything is attached. The borders, we are separated, we are made the borders. The God and nature has not given such type borders that, okay, the India is a green color, Pakistan is a red color, China is a black color. Such colors are not given to the country. That's just, these lands are covered with the same land. Same thing, but we are made them. So no means are strange. The people are also not changed. And beneath all the uniform, the single body breath, uniform. Here uniform is uh, indicated as a soldier's uniform, military. The, every uniform of inside, inside the all uniform, beneath all the uniforms, the same single body is a breath. Having the two eyes, one nose, two ears, one mouth, everything has the same. Like us, whatever we have, they have also the same things. The land our bros walk upon. And the same land they are walking, what we are. We are also eating the same thing, they are also eating the same thing. They are walking on the same land, we are also walking on the same land. Is earth like this, in which we all shall lie? This earth, where we are living, this earth is not something. This is a lie, a same place. Same, where we are living, they are also living on the same place, same land. And 
they too are aware of sun, air and water. They are also using the sun, air and the water. They are also taking the same oxygen. This is not means that the Indian people are taking the oxygen, uh, British person is taking the nitrogen, Pakistani people is taking the um, uh, uh, neutron, something different and Chinese people is not taking the aragon or helium or something that not every person is taking the same air every paper uh, every person is using the same water drinking the same water not like this that they are in drinking the we are taking the um, salt we are drinking the sweet water and the uh, American person is taking the salty water not like this everyone drinking the same water they have the one sun we also have the one sun and we are aware about it are fed by the peaceful harvest, by wars, long winter starve. And whatever we are filling, we are harvesting, we are growing, the same food they are also growing, the same like they are also growing in the harvest of people, person. And whatever we are filling in the winter season, when winter we are harvesting, har uh, winter is starving. Because in winter we are also feeling the hungerness, we are also facing the hunger because no food is there. They are also having the same and due to only war, okay, by the wars, only due to the war when we are uh, fighting the war, they are also having the starveness. Their hands are ours and their lines we read. Okay, whatever hands we have, the same hands they had, they have. We have the five fingers, so they also have the five fingers, they are also having the same nails, same lines on the they are also reading the same lines. We are also looking as a future, as when we are palm seeing, okay, palm harvesting, what we are uh, doing in our country, they are also doing the same things. They are also reading the same lines on the hands. The labor is not different from our own. What labors we in our country, how they are uh, doing the hard work, the same labors having in their country also. In their country, the labor also having the, uh, facing the lot of problems, uh, regarding the food and the shelter and money and such things uh, like ours means whatever we are filling up for her we are giving the we are blaming to the soldiers we are blaming for the war they are also blaming for the war they are not happy with this war remember they have eyes like ours that way we have the same eyes they also have the same eyes our sleep strength that can be worn okay whatever we are sleeping we are wake up that same eyes they have also and the same eyes is being inside they have some dreams whatever we are looking as a dreams say they have also the dreams they are not dreamless people and strength that can be won by love the same thing when we believe in the love we believe that peace is the one beautiful strategy very finest strategy for the human being love is the one thing which can be won to the heart all the people every land is a common life not like this when we are talking about america or the england the same people the people also have the common life like us they are not also so, so much richest one and they are not a heavenly life and the people living in the uh, very poor country had the same life what we have also and that all can recognize and understand we can understand the same life we can recognize their life also and let us remember whenever we are told, when we are telling about the wars, when we are talking about the war, that we have to remember to hate our brothers. It is ourselves. When we are hating to them, in the sense, whatever the things discussed by the poet in the first three stanzas, all the things are the same like to us, means in the sense they are our brothers. They are same like to us. So when we are hating them, we are hating to ourselves. When we are abusing to them, we they are also hating to, uh, abusing to us. When we are giving the bad words to the people, we are also giving the bad words to ourselves. When we are killing to the peoples, we are killing our people. That we shall dispose, betray, condemn, whatever we are doing. Disposes and betrays and condemn what we are giving. The same things we are giving to our people means to ourselves. Remember, we who take arms against each other. We people are taking the arms to each other, we are uh, killing to each other and that is very bad for us. And the last stanza, the poet is telling to us, it is human earth that we defile. It is the human earth that uh, we are living here. Our hails of fire and dust outrage innocence. 
our hell. This having the fire and the dust out of innocence, like we are also killing the innocent people. Air that is everywhere, our own. Where? What air we are taking, where uh, air we are breathing, the same air the people are also breathing. And remember, the no men are foreign and no countries are strange to us. In this way, the poet has discussed this poem and it's very finest one, very uh, beautiful poem. You have to understand it. Uh, you can easily understand. So questions are given that beneath all the uniforms. What uniforms do you think the poet is speaking about? It's about the uniforms being unity. Uh, different countries have different military powers and the military powers have different type of uniforms. That uniform is discussed here. Second, how does the poet suggest that the people on the earth are the same? All the things, the farmers, the all, the farmers and the people's workers, everything, every all had the same according to the food, sun, air and the land. Whatever discussed in the poem, you have to write the answers in this one. In the stanza first, find five ways in which we all are like. Five things we have to find out, which is very easy one. You can find out the words. How many common features are given in this stanza? Very easy. Uh, whenever we are told to hate our brothers, when do you think that this happens? When it is happened, when we have the fight, we, we, we are fighting to the next country or another country. We have the enmity between the countries. That time we are thinking this, who tells us? We tells us. Should we, as we have told that same time, that we are telling the same things they are also telling? What does the poet say? What is the opinion of the poet according to that moment? In this way, the poem is a very finest one and it's very easy to understand. I hope you understand it and you will write the question answers in the right way. Thank you for a once. This is a very beautiful quote by the Socrates. I am a citizen not of Athens or of Greece, but of the world. That is the thought given by the Socrates. Thanks to all of you. Take care and visit the channel.